반갑습니다. I'm very pleased to meet you. 에, 제가 이렇게 사람들에게 보고를 많이 받는, 받는 경우가 많습니다. And there are many cases where I receive reports from people. 그래, 보고하는 데 보면 은 처음부터 이렇게 설명하는 사람이 있습니다. And when I listen to those reports, there are some people who explain very calmly from the beginning. 그 많이 길어지죠. And then it gets very lengthy. 에, 보고를 잘하는 사람은 그렇게 하지 않습니다. But those who give good reports aren't like that. 핵심부터 먼저 딱 지르는 겁니다. They begin with the main point. 그러면 시간 나는 대로 설명하면 돼요. And then if the time permits, they explain that. Isn't that so? 만약 집에 불이 났다 어떻게 해야 되겠습니까? Let us say that there are fire breaks out in your home. What will you do? 내가 문이 어딘데 어떤 문으로 들어가다 동쪽으로 돌다가 서쪽으로 가는데 이런 식으로 하면 안 되죠. Oh, there are how many doors inside of my house and I came into the west door or should we go out through the east door? You can't explain it that way. 일단 불 났다. They just say, there's a fire. 비상구는 어딥니다. That where is the emergency exit? 또또 And if needed, then you explain further. 어, 여러분 사회로 나와야 되기 때문에 그렇습니다. That I'm saying this because you need to head out into society. 네, 불 앞에 가서 1분 이상 설명하는 사람은 목 날라간다 안 합니까? And they say that people who stand before head to the conglomerates and give a, a more than a one minute report are going to be cut from the company. 재벌들이 말을 잘 못한다고 안 합니까? And so they say that the heads of the conglomerates are not able to speak very well. 그 이유가 뭔가 보고를 안 해봤기 때문에. And the reason is because they themselves have never been able to give reports. 늘 보고만 들으니까. They're always listening to reports. 아, 제가 왜이 얘기를 합니까? Now why am I saying this? 이 성경에 보면은. That if you look in the Bible, as soon as you open it, there is something that comes out. 하나님이 태초에 천지를 창조하시니라 이렇게 나왔어요. It says, "In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth." 크게 조금 잘못하면 모순되는 부분이 하나님이 누구다라고 설명을 하고 이 하나님이 천지를 창조하셨다 이래 될거 아니에요. And in one sense, you might think that it should explain who God is, and that this God created the heavens and the earth. 그렇게 돼 있지 않고 결론부터 낸 겁니다. But it doesn't begin that way. It starts with the conclusion. 대초에 하나님이 천지를 창조하셨다. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. 나머지 읽어 보면 이해 되는 겁니다. And then when you read through the rest, you can understand. 하나님이 누구다 못 알아들어요. Who God is? You can't understand that. 설명도 불가능해요. And even explaining that is impossible. 이제 이거 나가다가 성령의 역사로 깨닫는 거죠. As you read through the Bible, you realize through the working of the Holy Spirit. 그래서 어. 오늘 결론부터 내려놓고 들어가겠습니다. And that is why I will enter into lecture by beginning with the conclusion. 왜 하나님이 시대적인 인물 바울을 세웠는데 바울이 이리로 갔을까요? That why did God raise up this historic figure named Paul and he went into this? 저기 제일 일 포인트에 그래. That is the first point, the synagogue. 그 다음에 간 데는 치유적으로 갔고 그 다음 간 데는 로마 아닙니까? 바울이 행기 세 개밖에 없어요. The next place he went to was healing, and the last place was Rome. There's only three things that Paul did. 어 회당. Synagogue, 세 군데 치유, healing in three different places. Roma, Rome. 작은 것처럼 보이지만 모든 여정이 다 들어 있습니다. It may seem like a small thing, but all of the journeys are within that. 중요한 인물 만났을 때왜 회당으로 대학으로 갔겠어요? And when he met an important individual, why did he take them into the colleges, the synagogues? 삼차 전도 여행을 마치고 로마로 가기 전에 또 들어간 곳이 회당입니다. And after concluding his third missions voyage, before he went to Rome, again he went into the synagogue. 무슨 말인지를 얼른 이해해야 되겠죠. To quickly understand what this means. 자, 그렇다면 전 세계 대학이 놓친 것이 뭘까? If that is so, then what is it that the world churches, her colleges have lost hold of? 빈 곳이죠. It's the empty places. 그걸 회복해야 되는 겁니다. We need to restore this. 이거 회복해야 되는데 에... 많은 사람들이 세기를 변화시킨다는 것은 아는데 잘안 되지죠. That we need to restore that many people know they need to change the world, but it doesn't happen very easily. 그 이유가 대학 때 들어가야 되는 겁니다. The reason is because it must go into them when 어, they are in college. 그 답이 늦어서 나면 안 되는 건 아니지만은 대학 때 나면은 반드시 세계를 살리게 돼. It's not that you won't be able to do that if you come to that answer later on in life, but it must go into you while you are college students in order to really change the world. 네, 대학 때 들어간 사람이라야 오래 되져도 어, 겸만해지지 않습니다. It must go into you while you are college students, so that even though you go the long run, you will not become arrogant. 중간에 대부분요 당황돼 가지고. If it happens along the way, then you'll be so taken aback that you won't be able to handle what comes next. 몇년 하다 말지요. And you so you quit after just a few years. 게 대학 때 들어가야 모든 걸 움직일 수 있습니다. It has to go into you while you are in college in order for you to move everything. 대학 때 
제가 전도 운동을 개최를 했거든요. I caught on to the college evangelism movement when I was in college. 어, 목사가 돼서 하면 늦느냐? 그건 아니지만은 세계를 움직이는 데는 조금 무리가 돼요. Is it too late once you become a pastor? No, it might be a little difficult to really move the world though. 그래서 지금 어떤 상황이 됐는가 하니까 완전히 복음을 놓치고 난 뒤에 사단이 주인이 됐습니다. And so what kind of situation are we facing after having completely lost hold of the gospel? Satan has become the master. 이 말을 알아들으려면은 요한복음 16장 14절에서 24절에 보면 예수님께서는 세상 임금 사단을 두고 있는 얘기예요. And if you want to understand these words, look at what Jesus said in John chapter 16 verse 4 to 24 that Satan is the god of this age. 고린도후서 4장 4절 5절은 세상 신 그랬습니다. And the king of this world in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4 through 5. 어, 요한복음 8장 44절에는 어, 너희 아비 그랬어요. And in John chapter 8 verse 44 it says your father the devil. 이 마귀는 원래 거짓말하는 거짓말쟁이라고 돼 있습니다. It says that this devil he was a deceiver from the beginning. 속이는 자죠. That he deceives. 그래서 재미난 말 말이에요. But it says some very interesting things. 예수님 직접 하신 말. Jesus directly said that. 사단은 자기 것으로 속인다고 그랬어요. It says Satan he deceives with his own things. 그 자체가 이 사단이 자신에게도 속는 거예요. And so in one sense Satan is even deceived by himself. 그래서 점치로 다니는 사람이 있는데요. 그 귀신과 자랑 맞춰요, 그렇죠? And so when you go to some fortune tellers, there are those who really are able to figure out everything. 그러다가 결정적인 순간에는 속습니다. But at the most critical moment, they themselves are deceived. 스스로 속아요. They are deceived on their own. 그게 사단이고 악령들입니다. That is Satan. Those are evil spirits. 이게 주인이 돼 있다니까. But right now, he is acting as the master. 이런 상황입니다. It's this kind of situation. 자 이걸 여러분들 쳐다보고 대학 때 자질 잘못하면 소화요 막, 막 긴장됩니다 뭐 열심히 해야 된다 이렇게만 이해하니까요. This is what you need to look at. If you're not careful, you can really be taken aback and be deceived during your college years because you think you have to work really hard. 야, 대학 때 끝내야 된다 뭐 전부 맞는 말이니까. And some people say, oh, you really have to end it during your college years, and all those words are right. 근데 진짜로 알면 그렇게 하지 않죠. However, if you really know this, you won't do things that way. 굉장한 여유가 생깁니다. That you really have leisure, 그렇죠. truly. 돈이 없이 사업을 하라니까 쫓기는 거예요. That in one ways you really strapped for cash because you're trying to run your business without having any finances. 돈 없는 주제 해결을 해야 되겠지 빌려서 하니까 얼마 쫓기겠어요. I think about it. You don't have any money, but right now you've rented a building and you've got to run your business. Can you imagine how difficult it must be? 거기다가 은행에서 빌리면 은행 이자도 갚아야 되지 원돈도 갚아야 돼. And on top of that, if you take out a loan from the bank, then you've got to pay off the interest as well as the principal. 거기다 사채 빌려 한다면 더 쫓기는 거예요. 그래서. And think about it. Let's say that you've got money that you borrowed from other people as well. Then 어. you're really going to be strapped. 능력이 없어서가 아니고 쫓겨서 뭘 판단을 못 하는 거예요. That not that you not lack the ability, but because you can't think straight. 그러나 돈이 많이 있는 사람이요. 사업을 한다 할 때는 시작부터 다르다니까요. But when a person with a lot of money 그렇죠. begins a business, they are different from the beginning. 시작부터 벌써 의미도 찾고 이유도 찾고 여유가 있다니까요. That from the start, they're able to find the meaning as well as the reason for this. They've got leisure. 여러분 이걸 딱 알면요 굉장히 여유 생깁니다 사실은. And if you know this, and honestly, you will gain tremendous leisure. 그러면은 여러분 오늘 첫 번째로 알아야 될게 뭡니까? Then what is the very first thing that you must know today? 이런 상황이 놓였단 말이에요. That people are lost in this situation. 대학생이 가장 먼저 받아야 될 응답이 뭘까요? College students, what's the very first answer you must receive? 하나님께서 하늘에서 내린 달란트를 붙잡는 거. That you have to hold on to the talent that God has given to you from above. 이거는 모든 사람이 달란트 가졌지만은 대학생 때 하늘에서 내린 달란트 있습니다. Of course, everyone has their own talent, but while you are college students, there is a talent that is given from above. 어, 내가 이걸 가지고 10% 안에 들어갈 수 있어야만. And you must be able to take that into the top 10% for it to be truly your talent. 그런데 1% 안으로 들어가 버리면요 세계를 움직이는. But if you take that into the top 1%, then you will move the world. 예를 든다면 빌 게이츠 같은 인물입니다. For example, people like Bill Gates. 세계를 움직이 버려요. He's moving the world. 그런데 우리는 그 정도가 아닙니다. But we go way beyond that. 하늘에서 내린 달란트는요. 1%, a talent that's given from the heavens that goes beyond 1%, it is 0%. Those were the seven remnants. This is what you must hold to. 
막 너무 조금 비자 흔들거리면 힘도 들지 약하지 이런 게 합쳐지죠. But why you're a college student? If you are really hasty, if you don't have the leisure, and you're always rushing around, then it becomes very difficult. 그럼에도 불구하고 열심히 공부하고 하면 또 잘할 수 있습니다. And yet, regardless of all that, if you work very hard, you might succeed. 예, 거기서 오는 장점도 많습니다. And there are many advantages that come from that. 성취감도 생깁니다. That you have a sense of achievement. 그게 사는 거 아닙니까? And that's why you live. 그러나 그만큼 단점도 옵니다. However, there'll be an equal amount of disadvantages. 하나님 모르니까. Why? Because you don't know God. 여러분 다른 사람들이에요. That you are different. 하나님을 모르는 모르는 사람들이 하는 거 하고 여러분은 달라야 되겠죠. That you have to be different from the people who do things without knowing God. 그러면 여러분들이 이제 결론부터 내려야 되는데 뭘 알아야 되느냐 하는 겁니다. Then let's come to the conclusion first. What is it that you must know? 렘트 일곱이 알은 거 여러분이 알아야 되는 거죠. It's what the seven remnants do and what you must know. 여러분은 그냥 축복이 아닌 이 보좌의 축복을 누리는 사람. That for you it's not merely the blessings, but you are enjoying the blessing of the throne. 보좌의 축복을 누릴 줄 알아야 하늘에서 내린 달란트를 보는 거예요. You need to know how to enjoy the blessings given from the throne in order to enjoy the talent given from above. 이거는 굉장한 이 보좌의 축복은 굉장한 배경들이 있어요. And the blessing of the throne has a tremendous black background. 그 이걸 모르니까 불신자와 같잖아요. But not knowing this, we're the same as unbelievers. 이 배경은 어마어마합니다. This background is tremendous. 어떤 때는 주의 사자가 이렇게 되고요. At times it says a herald of the Lord. 어떨 때는 주의 천사가. At times it says an angel of the Lord. 어떨 때는 주의 군대가 At times it says the heavenly hosts. 그리고 이 보좌의 배경이 어마어마하다니까. And so the background of the throne is tremendous. 뭔가가 나에게 말씀이 전달될 때 모르지만 주의 사자란 단어를 써요. And somehow when God's word is being relayed to us unwittingly, that's the angels at work. 중요한 일이 생긴 그 누구도 모르는데 하나님이 나를 도우셨단 말이요. 그때 도운 그 대상을 보고 주의 천사가. When something important happens and someone is there to help me, nobody knows who that is, but that person is the angel sent by God. 우리가 영적인 큰 싸움을 할때 주로 뭐 나온다면은 하늘의 주의 군대가 이렇게 나옵니다. And usually when we have to fight a great spiritual battle, it talks about the heavenly hosts or the armies of heaven. 이런 걸 전혀 모르니까 그런 걸 기도할 이유도 없죠. And if you don't know these things at all, there's no reason to pray. 그래서 좀 알면요. 눈만 감아도 벌써 영적인 역사를 봐요. But if you do know this, even with just closing your eyes, you can see the spiritual works. 여기서 나온 어마어마한 비밀이 기도입니다. The amazing mystery that stems from here is prayer. 많은 사람들이 기도를 예사로 생각합니다. But many people take prayer lightly. 이걸 알아야 기도의 가치를 아는 겁니다. That you need to know all this in order to know the value of prayer. 이 기도를 가치 알아 여기서 이런 달란트가 나오고요. And knowing the worth of prayer, you find your talent from there. 이 달란트는 어디서 왔는가 하니까 보좌의 배경 속에서 왔고. And this talent, where does it come from? From the background of the throne. Absolutely. 그리고 이거부터 누리는 시스템 돼요. And so you have to form the system to enjoy this first. 이걸 대학 때 아차라 안 한다 말이야. But don't people don't do this during their college years? 그렇다면 여러분이 텔레비만 봐도 사람이 변해요. 그렇잖아요. I think about it. People change even when they watch television. 아니 책만 한개 제대로 읽어도 사람이 변하는데. Even if you just properly read one book, you change, but you don't know how they change. 여러분 노래만 자꾸 들어도 사람이 변하는데 어떻게 변할지 모르잖아요. We change even if we can repeatedly listen to one song, so people don't know how they change. 여러분 노래만 자꾸 들어도 사람이 변하는데 어떻게 변할지 모르잖아요. We change even if we can repeatedly listen to one song, so people don't know how we change. 이게 지금 대학 때 가장 먼저 붙잡아야 될 언약이. This is the very first covenant we must hold to while we are in college. 자, 왜 그렇습니까? Now why is that? 이 보좌의 축복을 이 축복을 누려야 될 이유가 뭡니까? Now what's the reason we must enjoy the blessing of the throne? 그 이유부터 알아야 될 거야. We need to know the reason first. 이첫 번째 이유가 뭡니까? What's the first reason? 지금 그 사단이 완전히 세상을 주관해. That right now Satan is completely ruling the world. 이 세상 주관자로 이 사단이 지금 버티고 있는 거예요. That right now Satan he is controlling the world. 불신자는 당연히 모르죠. And so unbelievers rightfully don't know about this. 에베소 6장 12절에는 중요한 말씀이 나옵니다. And that's why we see important words in Ephesians 6, verse 12. 우리의 싸움은 혈과 육에 대한 것이 아니다. It says our battle is not against flesh and blood. 여러분 교인들 99.9%가 혈과 육에 대한 싸움 아니에요. But if you look at 99.9% of the churchgoers, they're fighting over flesh and blood. 당연히 
승리를 못 하는 거죠. Then rightfully they will not triumph. 우리의 삶은 혈과 육이 대한 거 아니라 이 말은 혈과 육은 필요 없다 이 말은 아니잖아요. That when we say that our battle is not against flesh and blood, it doesn't mean that we don't need flesh and blood. 이 사단이 뭐 하고 있냐면요. But what is Satan doing? He is moving the rulers. That's tremendous. He's moving the kings, rulers. Then what are we going to do about that? 자파 오파 만들어 가지고 움직이지, 공산주의 만들어 움직이지, 독재주의는 우리 사단이 다 하는 거예요. And Satan is doing all that, making the left wing and right wing and moving them, making the dictators and making all of these people and make moving them. 성경에만 밝히고 있어요. But it's revealed only in the Bible that we can't find it exposed anywhere else. 상담 큰일 납니다. If we're not careful, we will be in trouble. 날 이렇게 가는 겁니다. And that's why people are not receiving answers, just heading in the same direction. 정사와 It says rulers, authorities. What do you mean authorities? Means those in authority. He's moving them. 그래서 여러분 김정은 위해서 기도 하라 합니다. 저기 사단이 움직이 버리면 뭔 짓을 할지 몰라. That's why we're praying for Kim Jong Un in North Korea because if Satan moves his heart, we don't know what he will do. 사람이 말이죠. 정신 돌아가서 사단이 잡히면 뭔 짓을 할지 모르고 저. I think about it. When someone goes crazy and they're seized by saying, you never know what they're going to do. They'll even jump off a 50-story building. 아니 그 높은 절벽에 쳐다보면 아찔해야 정상이지. 그 치다보면 뛰어내리고 싶다. 이 자체가 정상이 아니잖아. I think about it. When you look down from high cliffs, it should be scary. That's normal. It's not normal for you to want to jump off that cliff. 이렇게 사단이 잡고. But this is how Satan is moving them. 그리고 뭡니까? And what else? 하늘에 있는 영들 또 어둠에 뭐 이걸 다 주관하. And is the cosmic powers over this present darkness? What is that? It's talking about religion. What is darkness? Then all kinds of criminal activities. Murder, drugs. He's moving all of that. Can you not understand why we must receive the blessing of the throne? 왜 기도해야 된다는 걸 모르면 안 돼요. We must know the reason why we must pray. And that, on top of that, during the college years, how important is this? This is not just about what the world is doing. It's completely ruling. But he's not just simply ruling over the world. He's even moving culture. And he makes these shrines, and he is moving the world. Yeah, Satan, he got how much work done? How many centuries he built the shrines? I think about how great Satan's work is. He takes hundreds of centuries to build one shrine. That means what? Now, what does that mean? Satan, they did it to the end. That means that they were able to build that shrine down to the generations, even that leaving that as a legacy for the next generation. Well, even the church members, they're not even interested in building one church in their lifetime. Well, even the church members, they're not even interested in building one church in their lifetime. Well, even the church members, they're not even interested in building one church in their lifetime. Well, even the church members, they're not even interested in building one church in their lifetime. Well, even the church members, they're not even interested in building one church in their lifetime. I think about it. It just takes a few years, but they can't even handle that. So we're realistically losing to Satan. And so over centuries, they make these shrines, and they're moving the world with them. That it really is exasperating. And people don't even know why they need to build their sanctuary and temples. They don't know the spiritual things at all. But those who know this reason, they'll give everything they have to serve. But not knowing the reason, people think, "Oh, I don't have any money. How can I give?" That's why there's no way answers will come. But he's not just making the shrines. That he makes idols in the midst of that, and he tempts people. These 우상을 가지고요 전 세계 학자들은 연구하고. He deludes people and think about it. the scholars of this world. They're all rushing in to research and study these idols. And so it's become a culture where all the people in the world flock to go see them. And this is Satan's intricate strategy. That I'm not saying that all masterpieces and all of the culture is bad. 이게 완전히 결국은 거짓의 주인에게. But ultimately, see that Satan, he is the master of lies. 그 거짓 자체가 자기 거라. And the lie, it belongs to him. 그러니까 이 예수님 직접 말하자 그 사람 진리가 없다래. 진리가 없어요. And that is why Jesus directly said there is no truth in him. 그걸 가지고 있는 게다 거짓이기 때문에. 
스스로 거짓 속고 스스로 속이. Everything that he has is false, and that is why he is lying and deceiving others, and also deceiving himself. 그 그저 함정을 만들어 속이잖아요. That he deceives by making traps. 더 함정 속에 털을 또 묶어. And within those traps, he binds them inside this frame. 그것도 털의 가칭을 또 올무로 묶어버려. And on top of that, binds them with these snares. 이렇게 된 겁니다. This is what's happening. 이게 사단의 만 열두 가지. And these are Satan's twelve strategies. We know this. 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 All you did was realize the gospel just a little bit, but these are the great works that came from that. You yourself will be surprised. 아니 그뭐 문설주에 피좀 발랐다고 해가지고 말이요. 그게 말이죠. 창세기 출애굽기 레위 신문기 보면 세 개를 영원히 움직인 답이 다 나오고. And they just put a little bit of blood on their door frames, but that became the eternal answer that moved Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. 공부는 대학에서 여러분 시작하지만은. 사실상 이 보좌의 축복들은 이 메시지는 평생 메시지로 붙잡. That you start your studies in college, but the message of the throne of heaven that lasts is a lifelong message. 이렇게 붙잡을 수 있는 겁니다. You can hold to it this way. 자 그러면 여러분이 지금부터 무엇을 하면서 공부해야 되겠나? Then starting now, what must you do as you study? 자 이걸 우리 이유를 알았단 말이야. Now we know the reason from the introduction. 이유를 알았으면 우리는 어, 내용도. And if we know the reason, we need to know the content now. 그 내용이 첫 번째 게 이겁니다. And what is the first content? 대학생 때 지금까지 있었던 모든 것이 각인돼 있는 겁니다. That during your college years, all the things that you learned until now become imprinted. 지금부터 여러분은 뿌리를 내리기 시작. And starting now, you begin to be rooted in that. 그리고 앞으로 미래는 이 체질로 살아가요. And for the future, you are living with this nature. 어떻습니까? What do you think? 자 이때 여러분이 뭘 하고 있냐? Now what must you do at this time? 가장 중요한 것은 복음 각인이 다 돼. And the most important thing is to have the gospel imprint. 이걸 여러분 얼마만큼 정확하게 각인되냐가 모든 것 자원. And how accurately you have this imprint is going to determine everything. 제 같은 경우는 이 흑암 세계를 직접 봤어요. That in my case, I directly saw these forces of darkness. 현장에서 십년 동안. That for the past ten years in the field. 그제는 그리스도가 아니고 어제 그리스도로 완전히 담는 거. And so now it's not merely Christ, but coming to the complete conclusion of only Christ. 다 다할 정도로. And to the point that nothing else is even worth it. 다른 욕심 안 내도 그건 다 와요. 아무 욕심 낼 필요가. That there's no reason for me to be greedy about anything else because everything else will come. 벌써 욕심 내다는 자체가 벌써 없다는 증거거든. And just the fact that you want something means that you lack something. 지금 벌써 자리 걱정했다는 자체가 벌써 그거는 자기 위치가 없다는 거예요. Just the fact that you are vying for some kind of position means that you don't have your own position. 그 이제 미래 걱정이 된다는 자체가 벌써 내가 오늘의 하나 확실한 하나님 계획을 못 잡았다는 말이 되는 거예요. And just the fact that you are worried about the future means that you have not held the God's sure plan for your today. 대학생 때 많은 시간을 필요로 하는 거 아닙니다. 정말로 복음으로 가긴 딱. So during your college years, you don't even need much time, but really being imprinted with the gospel. 왜 이상한 사람이 되느냐? Why do people become strange later on? 각인된 걸로. Because of what's imprinted in them. 아무리 몸부림 쳐도 안 됩니다. 각인된. No matter how hard they struggle, it's not going to work. It's what's imprinted in them. 왜 마약을 먹었냐? 뇌에 각인돼. Why can't people stop doing drugs because it's imprinted in their brains? That's why they can't stop. 몸에 반응도 있겠지만. 감옥서 몇년 나라 분이 몸에 그 없어지잖아요. 그런데 뇌에서는 안 없어진다니까. Now there might be some bodily responses, but you lock them in prison, and that bodily response is going to go away. But the thing inside their brain will not. 쉽게 말하면은 하나님이 어느 날 갑자기 이삭을 제물로 드리라. As simply put, one day God all of a sudden said to sacrifice Isaac. 이삭이 얼마만큼 힘들게 따라가는데. That can you imagine how hard it was for Isaac to follow along? 힘들었잖아요. But he did. Why, 아버지 이번에는 양이 없습니까? 물었잖아요. And he asks his father, Why is there no lamb this time? 그런데 아브라함 그때 말을 안 했어요. But Abraham did not say anything to him. 말하면 안 되잖아요. And he couldn't say anything. 그는 뭐 하나님이 준비하지 않겠나 이렇게 얼버무렸단 말이에요. And so he kind of just went around in circles, saying, Oh, you know, God will provide it. 산에 가서는 
But when they arrived at the mountainside, he said, "The Lord wants me to sacrifice you." 그 이스라엘의 제도 풍속은요, 아버지가 거의 다거든요. 그 말에 거역할 수 없어요. And if you look at the um the, the the traditions they have in Israel, then you can't go against what your father says. 그 순간에 하나님이 수양을 딱. But it was at that instant that God prepared the ram. 어떻습니까, 여러분? What do you think? 이삭에게 완전히 각인되었구나. That it was completely imprinted in 아, Isaac. 그렇구나. Oh, that's what it is. 그러니까 이 사람 농사지면 1 년에 백년 나왔다. And that is why when he farmed the land, he received a hundred year crop in just one year. That's what's important. 뭘 어떻게 자기 농사 자기 마음대로 짓습니까? I think about it. The results of the harvest is not up to you. That if you have many wells, then you would be considered wealthy. But he had the fountain head, and he wasn't even looking for that. But what's the reason? Only then is world evangelization possible. And there was a lot of envy and jealousy, and the world is like that. But they only know about material wealth, and that's what they're going after. But he received the blessing of Rehoboth to the point where he could yield everything. Because he needed to do world evangelization. It's important. And so, while you are college students, have the sure imprint of the gospel. Why? Satan is that one thing. Why? Because that's the only thing Satan surrenders to. He does not fear the king of Egypt. And Satan doesn't fear the tremendous palaces of Egypt. But one day an individual named Moses arose and he spoke about the blood of the lamb and that made him tremble. And so that's what was imprinted in the seven remnants. 이 복음에는 반드시 말씀이 따라오잖아요. Then for this gospel, absolutely, there is the word that follows. 이 말씀이 뿌리를 땅에. And now you're being rooted in that word. 이게 답니다. That is everything. 이때부터 뭡니까? And from this point on, what happens? 알면 누림이 달라져요. Once you know, your enjoyment becomes 그렇죠. different. Isn't that so? 대학을 졸업한 사람이 누리는 거 하고. That what a college graduate enjoys and what an elementary school student enjoys is different. I think about it. An incoming freshman and a college professor's enjoyment will be different. You enjoy as much as you know, and so it's from here that you form your prayer nature. What's going to happen if you pray aloud without even having the gospel imprinted in you? And this is your first lifelong message. And what comes from here? The talent from heaven. It's given by God. And truly, it's talking about your talent. It's talking about your skill. Who gives that? God gives it to you from above. And from this point on, What kind of content? That you find your status and authority. And according to your status and authority, as I spoke about before, God's heralds, His angels, and the heavenly hosts, time and again, will help you. Why? 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 Uh, they were doing in the courtyard of the Blue House, and so before I went to that location, I had a hotel in Yoido. And so it was a situation where I already said what time we're going to meet, and Ellie Kim was going to pick me up at that time. But about an hour before that time, someone knocked on my door. And when I opened the door, this person was standing very straight in front of me, and then he bowed down and said he apologized. And so I asked, "What's going on?" And he says, "I have a request. What request?" He says, "Can you please close your window?" 
왜 그러냐? 왜, 왜 그래서 물어봤어요? And so I ask, well, why should I do that? 그쪽이 청와대 쪽으로 향해 있는 창문이에요. It is, that's the window that faces the blue house. 그래, 그걸 좀, 좀 닫아줬으면 좋겠다. And so, could you please close the window? 알았다고요. And so I said, okay. I understood what he was 알았다. talking about. 그러고 보니까요, 옥상 곳곳에요. 쫙 잘들 깔렸어. And then I looked out and I saw that on the rooftops of all the buildings there were soldiers. 야, 청와대 쪽으로 누가 혹시 사고 칠 만한 모든 곳에 다 배치돼. In every location that people might target for the blue house, they had these people. 심지어 내 방까지 찾아와서 창문 좀 닫아달라고. And to the point where they would even come into my room and ask me to close the window. 야, 그때는요. And that time. 차. 하나님의 백성이 가는 곳에 이런 일이 벌어질 I realize that these kinds of works arise 그렇죠? wherever God's people go. 그리고 하도 모르고 맨날 육신적인 거 먹는 거뭐 뭐 이런 거밖에 모르면 이게 어떻게 되겠어요? But if we don't focus on that and we're only focused on the physical things, what we're going to eat and what we're going to wear, what's going to happen? 물자고 똑같은 맨날 돈뭐저 이런 거뭐 세상 그만 가득 차 있는 거야. They were the same as, same as unbelievers, only thinking about money and the things of this world and not knowing the spiritual things at all. 이걸 여러분이 대학생 때 확실히 해야 되는 겁니다. But you have to be sure about this during your college years. 이때에 오는 응답이 있어요. Now there is an answer that comes at this time. 이때에 정확한 말씀, 정확한 언약을 붙잡게 돼요. At this time you can hold on to the accurate word, the accurate covenant. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 정확한 언약을 붙잡아야 정확한 여정을 가게 되는 거예요. That you have to hold to the accurate covenant in order to take the accurate journey. 이 말은 정확한 목표가 있다는 말이에요. What that means is that you have an accurate goal. 정확한 언약을 붙잡는 걸 보고 천명이라고. That holding to the accurate covenant is what we call the heavenly mandate. 그럼 이 여정은 그때 그때 가는 거기 때문에 타임이 포함되어 있기 때문에. Then for our journey, it's talking about the time, the journey that we take at each moment. And so we talk about our calling. Because God calls us when He needs us. And because we surely know the goal, we call that our mission. And this is a tremendous blessing you must hold on to during your college years. And from this point on, what happens? 응답보다 더 중요한 게 있대 나와요. Then what's more important answers come from here. 여러분 응답보다 더 중요한 것이 영적 배경과 상태. What's more important than answers is your spiritual background and state. 이걸 지금 준비해라 이 말이야. You have to prepare this now. 이 힘으로 공부하고. And it's with this power that you study. And go out to the world with this power. 여러분, 여러분, and you are the people of God who receive the blessing of the throne. 여러분, and so what was the common trait of the seven remnants? That God gave them the most appropriate talent to change the world. It wasn't even 1%. It was a top 0%. And no one could steal it away because it was given from us. Above. And what comes from this point on? From this point on, you have a tremendous background. And this background, that is the throne. <웃음> How amazing is that? It's not just any throne. The triune God. 여러분과 함께 하시는 they were talking about the blessing of the throne of heaven of God being with you. And no matter how much I think about it, this is right. We can't see it at all with our eyes. That if we could see it, that would be fake. That if we could see it, then the bad, bad people will take it away. If we could see it, then con artists will try to take it. Isn't that so? And so, unseen to our eyes, God completely works by His word. That God works, Christ works through salvation that breaks down the three curses. And God the Holy Spirit works by His power. Then who can block this? And the more I think about it, the more scientific it is. But it doesn't just end there. What else do we see? 
만드신 나. Within this background, we see the me 얘기했죠? that God made. As I said before. 하나님이 주신 나의 것. And my God-given things. 하나님이 보내시는 나의 현장. And my God-given field. 이걸 보고 0%의 탈란트라고 합니다. That we call this a zero one percent talent. 이때 네 가지 응답이 와요. The zero percent, and so this is when four answers come. 뭐가 옵니까? What comes? 오직. Only. 이게 보입니다. We can see this now. 오직이 보입니다. We see only. 이때부터 보이고 또 옵니다. And we can see, and also this will come. 유일스. Uniqueness. 이게 옵니다. This comes. And what else? 재창조입니다. Recreation. This comes. 이게 네 번째로 오는 게 뭡니까? And what's the fourth thing that comes? 다 시스템 되죠. This is set as our system. 누가 말리겠습니까? Then who can block that? 그럼 여유 있을 수밖에 없어요. And so you're bound to have leisure. 문제 와도 뭐 여유가 있죠. Even though problems come, you'll have leisure. 그러다 아니까. Because you know this. 또 먼저 응답 와도 막 그렇게 또. And even though answers come, you don't get overexcited. 또뭐큰 문제 와도 큰 문제 오면 또 크게 대처하죠. And when a big problem comes, and it's just a big problem, and you can really take care of it on a large scale. 왜냐하면 이게 여러분의 신분과 권세라니까. Why? Because this is your status and authority. This belongs to you. 이거부터 먼저 확실히 하고 내가 누려야 되는 거야. And so be sure about this first and enjoy that. 나는 보좌의 축복을 누리는 하나님의 자녀요. That I am a child of God that enjoys the blessing of the throne. 그래서 하늘에서 내린 완전히 0%의 탈란트를 가지고 세계를 움직여. And so with the zero percent talent that God gives from above, I will save and move the world. 대단하죠. It's amazing. 그럼 어떤 결론이 나옵니까? Then what conclusion do we come to? 중요한 결론이 나오다. We come to an important conclusion. 그야말로 그냥 기도가 아닙니다. That it isn't just prayer. 복음 누리는 기도. But the prayer that enjoys the gospel. 어디에서도 복음 누리는 기도가 나와요. That wherever you are, you have the prayer of enjoying the gospel. 이 기도는 중요한 일. And important things happen through this prayer. 우리는 보고 듣고 읽는 게 답니다. That for us, what we see, what we hear, and what we read is everything. Isn't that so? 지금부터 많은 걸 보게 될 거예요. Starting now, you're going to see many things. 많은 말을 듣게 될 거예요. And you'll hear many words. 그렇죠. Isn't that so? 많은 책을 읽게 될 거예요. And you also read many books. 그럼 하지만 시청각이라고 안 합니까? And you put all that together, and you put audio, visual. 많은 걸 여러분 보고 듣게 되겠죠. And you'll be exposed to a lot of that. 그걸 하면서 뭐가 되어집니까? But what happens as you do that? 생각 속에 들어오잖아요. It comes into your thoughts. 또 많은 걸 보는 것이 마음속으로 들어옵니다. And the many things that you see will enter into your hearts. 그래서 복음 누리는 기도 속에서 보좌의 축복을 가지고 공부를 해야 생각 마음에 있는 이것이 반드시 너에 담기게. And so with the blessing that comes from the prayer of enjoying the gospel with the blessing and the throne of heaven, what you see goes into your hearts, your minds, and your brains. 나중에 좀 얘기하지 말아봐. 너에 담겼다고 하면 이제 이때부터는 두 가지 작업이 Now once it gets put into your brain then two things happen. 영혼 속으로 파고 들어오기 It plows into your soul. 이게 보잖아 지옥이라고 하는 영원한 거하고 연결이 돼. And it gets connected to eternity either heaven or hell. 어떻습니까, 여러분? What do you think? 틀림없습니다. Undoubtedly so. 그래서 여러분이 기도가 뭔가 안다는 것은 굉장히 중요합니다. And so to say that you know prayer is very important. 보좌의 축복을 누리는 것 안다는 말은 굉장히 중요합니다. To enjoy how to enjoy the blessing of the throne of heaven is a very important thing. 이때부터 여러분에게는 어디에 있든지 집중의 비밀을 따. And from this point on, wherever you are, you can enjoy the mystery of concentration. 그냥 집중이 아니고. Not just merely concentration, but the mystery of concentration. That you can enjoy this mystery wherever you are. No matter where you go, you can enjoy with. And no matter where you go, God is with you. And be cautious here. Why are things not working for me? No, not at all. Why are things working out so well for me? No, not that at all. 
아직 끝나 안 났어요. It isn't over yet. 여러분 나의 시작도 아직 안 됐는데 나는 왜 이래 안 됩니까? That at your age you haven't even begun yet. But why are you saying it's not working for you? That's why you get deceived. 사실대로 속아도 괜찮아. And honestly, it's okay even if you are deceived. 여러분의 신분은 속아서 안 된다. 아닙니다. That your status is not a status that's going to not work because you are deceived. 속아도 괜찮은데 체질대로 너무 고생하다 응답 받는 받는 게 하는 얘기죠. That it's okay even if you are deceived, but you're going to suffer a lot before you finally receive your answers. 지금부터 어디서 무엇을 하든지 이 속에서 I started now. Wherever you are, whatever you do, study inside of this and prepare. 드디어 여러분은 교회를 가게 될 겁니다. Ultimately, you will go to your churches. 위든 혼자 있을 때인데 어디서도 괜찮아. That with that's when you're by yourself, and so it doesn't matter where you are. 드디어 여러분은 교회 가게 될 겁니다. And then ultimately, you'll go to the church. 교회 가면 굉장히 또 머리가 잘못하면 복잡해져. And when you go to church, if you're not careful, things can become very complicated. 그래서 똑같은 위든데. Emmanuel. So it's the same with, but now it's Emmanuel. That God is with us. And what else? You're going to go out into the world and see various things. But all that is in God's hands. That's what we call the blessing of oneness. What do you think? So, 여러분들은. 이걸 다 합치 부르면 뭡니까? Now when we put all this together, what do we have? 나이는 어린데 영적 서밋이 딱 돼. Even though you are young in age, you stand as a spiritual summit. 결론의 끝입니다. That's the conclusion and the end. 아직 세상도 안 나갔는데 영적으로 서밋이라. You haven't yet gone out into the world, but spiritually you are the summit. 어떻게 보면 여러분 할수 있는 게 요거밖에 없습니다. In one sense, this might be the only thing you can do. 여러분 지금 사업을 합니까? 뭐 그렇다고 해서 뭐 막바로 지금 뭐 대통령을 합니까? 그렇잖아요. That you can't immediately go out and start a business and or become president. 그건 나중에 할 일이 지금은 아니거든요. That's something you'll do later on, not now. 지금 해야 될게 영적 서밋이에요. But what you must do now is the spiritual summit. 뭔 말인가 알겠죠? Do you understand what I am saying? 비록 나이는 어리지만은 형들하고 달랐습니다. 그 인물이 요셉입니다. Although he was young, he was different from his brothers. That was Joseph. 이 모든 걸 합친 걸 보고 영적 서밋이라. Putting all this together is what we call the spiritual summit. Why is that? 나이는 어리지만 보좌의 축복을 누릴 때이 비밀이다. 영적 서밋이에요. Because even though you are young in age, you are enjoying the blessing of the throne of heaven. That is a spiritual mystery. 처음 형들이 비웃었어요. At first, his brothers ridiculed him. 자주 그 세상을 몰라 그렇다. I'll say, oh, you don't know what the world is like. 그럴 수 있습니다. And perhaps that might be true. 자주 나이가 어려서. Oh, because you're still so young. 그럴 수 있습니다. Yes, that might be true. 요셉은 이미다 영적 서밋이 돼 있는 거예요. But Joseph already was the spiritual summit. 너무나 좋은 자리 있으면서도 영적 서밋을 전혀 못 누린 사람이 모세였습니다. Even though he was in such a great position, he did not enjoy the blessing of the spiritual summit. That was Moses. 호레스라서 깨닫게 되잖아. 그때가 8 0 세란 말이요. He finally realized on Mount Horeb that was when he was 80 years old. 이때부터 드디어 이 모세는 영적 서밋이 돼. And from that point on. Finally, Moses became the spiritual summit. 그냥 가면은 막 거의 주의 종들이라고 하는 사람들이요, 다 직업인들입니다. That if you just do this, think about it. Servants of the Lord, they just might think of it as an occupation, as an occupation. 제가 볼 때는 다 구십구중구구 다 직업인입니다. At the way I see it, all nine, almost ninety-nine point nine percent of them are just think of it as a job. Samuel입니다. But there were some who did not, and that was Samuel. He was a spiritual summit ever since he was a young. 아, 세상이 다막 그런 거 아닙니까? But the world is like that, isn't it? 자리 있어야 되고 물질 있어야 되고 뭐 거기 다지 뭐안 그렇습니까? And you need your position, you need your material wealth. That's everything. You might think that way. 그래 각인된 사람이 사울 왕이요. And King Saul, that was what was imprinted in him. 평생 고생이라. That's why he suffered his whole life. 잘하는 바도 고생이고 떠나는 바도 고생이고 뭐. And think about it. Wherever he went, he was facing hardships. 들어가도 걱정, 나가도 걱정. Worrying on his way in, worrying on his way out. 아, 저놈이 저래 잘 나가면 나 어떻게 되지 걱정? Oh, he's doing so well. What's going to happen to me? Worried about that. 아, 사람이 영적으로 서밋 되고 참잘 됐다. 저런 님을 하나님 미리 주시는구나. 너무 잘 됐구나. If he was a spiritual summit, he would think, "Wow, that's so wonderful. God prepared someone like that in advance. That's what he would think because he's going to die anyway." And on top of that, he's my son-in-law. So how wonderful is that? Being thankful for that. But right now, King Saul is about to die because of David. That's how fearsome your imprint is. He won't. It won't leave. And knowing that evil spirits target that, evil spirits come and seize King Saul. It's bound to be that way. It's natural. This is what David knew. That's why he had pity on King Saul.
And so when King Saul died, he lamented for so many days and he wept. And the messenger that came and relayed the good news that King Saul had died, he executed him. I think about it, the messenger came not even knowing what David's heart was like, and he relayed that news as if it was the greatest news. And that's a level of people because that's what's imprinted in them. And so take a look at this. And there are countless followers, there are countless company of men, but they did not have the summit imprinted in them. And they probably thought he was foolish. Jericho, that's a chance. You don't have to go as far as Jordan. Bethel, Gilgal, Gilgal. there are a chance. They thought that way. But already Elijah, he was the spiritual summit. I don't need all that. Give me power. Give me a dull portion of your spirit. That he had the nerve to ask his teacher for a double portion. But that's not it. That originally in the Bible, when you say double portion, that was the allotment for the firstborn. That give me the portion for the firstborn. That you don't have to give me any of the physical things, and so spiritually, give me the firstborn's inheritance. That's how he was able to overturn the world. That's what happens. What do you think? In one sense, you might think, is there nothing for us to do then? That perhaps that might be right. Because real prayer doesn't have any prayer topics. And God is with me doing this, and that, that is your prayer topic. That you lost all your wealth. Let me not resent God because of such things. That was Job's prayer. That's the kind of prayer that we need. I think about it, we don't need any prayer topics. Job prayed properly. It says, naked I came. That's right. That he didn't come into this world with a lot of possessions. He came empty-handed. And when Lord, he takes, he, he takes my life, I'm going to go with nothing. And that's right. The Lord gives and the Lord has taken away. It says, Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not want to charge God with wrong. And so he put on clothes of repentance. What that means, at first he was shocked by these kinds of things. I'm sure it was like that. But that's what he repented before God. He was different. Even when he was sick, his prayer was different. It says that when I meet the Lord, I will not meet him in this flesh. That when I meet my Redeemer, I'm not going to meet him in this flesh. And that's why Satan completely surrendered to Job. And what's the last thing that he said? That right now he is refining me so that I can become like pure gold. And then what does he say? It says that he does not change his will. That, but he knows the way that I will take. And there's many such things on his mind. That was Job's confession and Satan completely surrendered. 여러분들이 자주 잘못하면요, 지금까지 배운 거하고 반대 얘기예요, 이거는. That if we're not careful, these words today might be the opposite of what you've learned until now. Until now, you learned that you have to work hard. 뭐, 뛰지 말란 말입니까, 이게 지금. Then does that mean that I'm telling you not to work hard? 어디서 뛰어야 되느냐는 겁니다. That I'm telling you where you need to work hard. 여러분, 해적선 타고 열심히 뛰면요, 더 나쁜 놈이에요, 이거는. If you're working very hard on a pirate ship, then you really are the worst person. 그렇죠, 사람 살리는 말이지, 구조선을 타야지, 해적선 타고 있는 그, 그게 지가 잘나면 얼마 잘났겠어. I think about it, you have to be on the ship that saves lives, not the ship of the pirates. 
해적선 탄소에 막 부진하다. 그거는 진짜 더 나쁜 놈. And let us say that a person on a pirate ship is very industrious, then he's a very terrible person. Why? Because he's going to be stealing even more fervently. 해적선 탄소에 정직하다. 그더 나쁜 놈이. I think about a person on the pirate ship is very upright. He's worse than. 차라리 해적선 탄소에 깨어로 거짓말을 이 더나요. I'd rather being liar and being lazy on the pirate ship. That's better. 어디서 뛰느냐고든요. Where you are running hard is important. 넘어질 수도 있어. And perhaps you might stumble and fall. 배 안에 해적 배 안에서 넘어졌다. 이러 나면 되는 거야. But if you're falling on In the ship, then just get up again. 대학생 여러분이 진짜로 영적 섬이시더라. College students truly become the spiritual summit. 지금 이 세계 교회가 대학에서 잃어버린 첫 번째가 그겁니다. And so this is the very first thing that the world colleges have lost hold of in this world. 보좌의 축복과 함께 하나님이 위에서 내리는 천명 소명의 달란트를 못 잡았다. And they're not holding on to the blessing that comes from the throne of heaven, and they haven't realized their calling, heavenly mandate, and mission regarding the talent given from above. If you hold to that, that's it. 목사님들이 이걸 잡았다. 사전기 일정 팔절 가지고 삼년 설교해도 괜찮아. Pastors, if you're holding on to this, you can give a sermon for the next three years, which is after the one verse eight. 초대교회는 많은 메시지를 들은 게 아니에요. At the early church, they didn't hear a lot of messages. 초대교회는 하나밖에 안 들었다니까. At the early church, only heard one. 사도행전 전 팔절. Acts chapter one, verse eight. 그거 가지고 몇년 기도한 거예요. And they prayed years with just that. 근데 세계는 보고 말했다. But the world was evangelized. 아니 고린도 사는 사람들이 메시지 다 들었습니까? And the people living in Corinth, they didn't listen to all the message. 뭐 그냥 고린도서 일장 십팔 절 그런 거죠. And they just held to first Corinthians one, verse eighteen, and that was it. 똑같은 설교를 계속하는데도 똑같지 않아요. Even though you give the same sermon, it's not the same. 응답이 다르니까. Answers are different. 이렇듯이 렘넌들이 이 집행이 하자 다 사이가 난 겁니다. And in that way, the remnants have this. That's it. 그래 막 많은 문제 온다 그거는 응답거리가 많다 이 말이에요. And the many problems are coming. That means that you got many answers to receive. 그래서 대표적인 인물로. And that's why I selected the seven remnants as representative cases of this. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages of disaster. Why did I select them? Because of the seven different ages May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be the solution to all things. 하나님의 크신 사랑하시고, and the great love of God, 성령님의 역사하시고, and the work of the Holy Spirit. 이 시대 보좌의 축복을 누릴 모든 렘넌트들. Upon all the remnants who enjoy the blessing of the throne in this age. 특히 위에서 내린 달란트를 찾을 우리 대학 렘넌트들. And especially the college remnants who will find the talent that comes from above. 지금부터 영원까지. Be both now. 항상 함께 계실지어다. And always forever. Amen.